After viewers pointed out problems with the boat ramps at the launch at ICW, Fox 10 News investigated the claims. What we found was all six ramps of a slight tilt from side to side, making it difficult to unload and load boats. It's not the news the county wanted to hear just a week from the scheduled ribbon cutting. Baldwin County Commissioner Jeb Ball says finding a fix is a priority. Once we discovered that there were some, uh, some minor issues, then uh, we all started working together as a team and uh, trying to figure out solutions to this issue. Ball met with State Senator Chris Elliott on site to get a first-hand look at the problem. Elliott was instrumental in bringing the project to life as a Baldwin County Commissioner and is also concerned by the design flaw. Elliott also pointed out the need for upright pilings along the ramp piers to keep boats from scraping against the dock. He says it's not uncommon for some issues or discrepancies to surface with large projects like this. It's a big project. It's a big construction project on a big piece of property, and uh, it's not unusual to have um, have have some uh, some some problems. And especially the way the commission did this with a soft opening prior, uh, really to a grand opening, to tr try to identify some of those problems. Both say it's frustrating. The new launch is getting so much attention for all the wrong reasons, but are encouraged by all parties' willingness to solve the problems quickly. We're in a process right now of talking to um, our engineers. Uh, that's the first step. Uh, at some point today, we should have some uh, paperwork on our highway engineer's desk that will uh, be explaining how this will be uh, fixed. I have not heard if that paperwork made it to the desk yet. Now, the launch at ICW has opened well ahead of schedule. Commissioner Ball says that's a good thing. It was originally scheduled to open Memorial Day. Because of this soft opening and opening early, he says there's time to get this problem fixed before the busy boating season gets here. Reporting live in Orange Beach, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.